In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can make some adjustments to a video clip or a still image and then replicate those adjustments on either video tracks or still images that are on the same timeline. This uses a tool called Apply to All. It was removed temporarily in PowerDirector 2024 or 365 in September 2023 and then restored in the November upgrade. So if you have 365 and haven't done your November upgrade, you can do that by using the CyberLink Application Manager. So let's look at this tool and why it's useful and saves a lot of time. We're going to work on video first of all. So I have this video clip that we start with and as I see it, it's looking at the traffic over this bridge. So let's assume that we want to modify this and then have the other video clips modified in a similar way. I highlight the clip on the track and then I click on the edit button above the timeline. Now when I'm looking in my edit button, I have two subcategories. One's called tools and the other one's called color. Let's start out with color. Color we notice has seven different adjustments that I can make to the color of this particular video clip. Let's modify one in a dramatic way so we can see the difference and then see how it reflects when we try to copy it to the others very easily. I'm going to take saturation and crank it up all the way. So we have very intense colors, almost cartoonish. The grass is really green here. The buildings are really bright. Everything is oversaturated. So Let's see what happens if I want to do that for all of the clips on the timeline to make them similar. All I have to do is change the adjustment. Here we're not going to change the other six. One's sufficient for the tutorial. Then I click on Apply to All. And you notice down at the bottom of the screen in the timelines, I have the little eye icon. And we've done color adjustment on all of them. You notice it does not affect at the very right the still images. It's just all the video clips and all the ones on the same timeline. So if I click on the other clips over here, you notice this one's oversaturated too, and this one as well. So it takes that same value and it translates it to all the video clips you happen to have on the timeline. So if you're working with several that are similar that you want to adjust in the same way, it's a very easy way to do that in the color correction. Let's undo that. I'll do control Z to get out of that. And we'll turn off our color adjustment for this one, turn it back to normal. Let's look at the other options. You In the tools category, there are four elements that we can change and replicate. The first one is our video stabilizer. And we can click on this and modify the stabilization of the video. We can click on apply and do a correction level to fix camera shake that kind of thing. Let's just do that for now. And now it's stabilized it a little more. You notice it, it did so by enlarging the image so that the areas on the outside are not part of the frame anymore. And again, if I want to apply that to all, I click apply to all. And you notice it did the same thing we did before with the color. The other categories, I'm going to do control Z to undo that. The other categories where you can make those modifications and copy them to others are the video denoise right underneath video stabilizer, the lens correction down here, and the last one is the video in reverse. So you can reverse all the videos on the track as well as the one that you're editing at the moment. So those are the ones where you have this apply to all button. If you click in on other options, you don't have an apply to all but that's where you can do it when you're working with video how about if you're working with an image let's move over in our project here and i'm going to enlarge this so we see better our images at the end and here are our images let's look at the first one let's say we want to do some modification here when we're going to do an apply to all, there are several categories of images. Let's look at color first. We have six options that we had with video. And again, I can take the saturation and crank it way up on this one and click apply to all. And you notice it doesn't change any of the video clips. 
it does change every one of these still images. So that's oversaturated and the next one is and the last one that we have on our timeline. I'll do control Z to undo that and we'll turn that one off. You can make modifications in one or more of these categories when you're working with images and then click on apply to all and it will apply to all in your timeline. Let's look at the tools option and the tools option there are two. We have one option that's called lens correction and we can click on the lens correction and apply a lens correction on one or more. Let's click on this one and we'll just let it do the automatic and we'll click on apply to all and again it did some lens correction for all of the the still images. So if they were shot with the same lens at the same time and you have the same issues you can resolve all of them at once. I'm going to do control Z to undo that. The other one you can do is pan and zoom in the tools submenu. I'll click here and let's just do a zoom out. And so we've adjusted a zoom out for my first still image. Play it. Let's see what happens. Use the home key to get to the beginning of the image and we have a zoom out. If I want to zoom out on all my images on the track. All I do is click on apply to all. First one. Now do the second one. Zoom out and the third one. So if you want to make them uniform in terms of pan and zoom, that's an easy way to do that in PowerDirector. That's a quick look at how you can use the apply to all to speed up your editing, whether you're working with video clips or still images or both in CyberLink PowerDirector.